cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? Wish pop. What's going on in the life of a cancer between the 15th and the 31st of December? Hmm. Hmm. I said, I said, as we move into this new year, uh, are we evolving? Are we purging? Are we letting it go? It's time to move, I said. Take off, baby. It's time to go. What you waiting on all aboard? Too, too. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, but I'm definitely going to cuss. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice, too. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who can best assist you uh, and resonate with you better. But I'm going to cuss. This is my shit, all right? And if we go going into the new year, I can talk to cancer about setting up boundaries. Do you understand? New and old. Risk new and old returning subscribers. Okay? Welcome to the family, new family. We are dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, all right? We love, we grow, we share, we enlighten, we evolve. It's all about positive vibes only over here. Okay? Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. This is just general it may or may not resonate with everybody this will be from the 15th to the 31st of december and we rock it and y'all bet i have a reading special going on right now and on december the 15th i'm gonna make this announcement as many videos as i can get the hell up um before the deadline but i did make a separate video so go check that out y'all y'all better get y'all readings in up under these specials because the month of january mocha taking a break break a break break so i'm gonna work my ass off now and give y'all all the clarity and the wisdom and the guidance and the love and the support and the push that you need. Because y'all may or may not get some damn mid months come January. I don't know. Because I'm be on break. So I love you very much. If you need that reading, get it in. I got a $15 off special for my emergency readings. Um, for 30 through 60. Well, for my emergency readings, I only do 30 minutes, 30 through 60 minutes emergency readings. Um, for my 30 to 60 minute regular sessions, I may have to schedule you out. Okay, um, so it may be the next day, but as long as you get your email in, you in there like swim well. We ain't gonna, we don't, I'm okay, don't wait forever. You never have, have you ever had a personal reading for me? You know, I don't make you wait forever. We don't do that. So, um, please get your reading special in because y'all, I'm gonna close the door for a little bit to about February. Look, me, I'm from Texas, February. <laughs> so, y'all get it in. Without further ado, let's rock. This will be again for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Cancer, my Cancer. All right. So during this time, mid-December, start with the spirit message. Some of you all, so contract time. So contract time. Believe in destiny during this time. Life purpose. Life path. Okay, things aligning the way that they're supposed to. Even if you do not like the outcome, it's about you accepting, acknowledging your part and what, how, and what you play in it. Moving forward with the wisdom that you've taken, that, that, that you've taken from situations, from heartbreak, from, you know, experiencing loss, experiencing stagnancy, experiencing growth, experiencing downloads, experiencing just a total evolution. You're going to have a di whole different perspective during this time. A lot of you all are really learning more so about yourself, about your roots. During this time, a lot of you guys are going to be really, really, really putting that effort and that energy to learn more about the things that you're passionate about as well, okay? Because this actually clarified the knowledge card. So I feel like a lot of you all are going to be getting more, um, more, in all, more knowledge about what it is that you're passionate about. For some of you all, I'm literally hearing um, light work. Some of you all may be um, herbalists, okay? People who you possibly heal, heal with herbs. Some of you all may be moving to more so um, artistic uh, artistic industries, okay? I'm hearing some of you guys are healers, okay? And you're really learning <clears throat> about your roots. Some of you all are really, really, um, some of y'all may also meet a shaman during this time. I have shamanic roots, but some of y'all may meet a full-fledged shaman, or you may find out that you are a shaman, and that that healing is naturally in you, okay? But some of you all are getting more information during this time. Some of y'all are getting more information about going back to school. You needing that education in order to further what it is, to further what it is um, in the experience that you really wanted to do, okay, with your life. And for some of you all, this does involve your life purpose. Some of you all... 
Some of y'all could also be learning that you're pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations. Mocha love the kids. Some of you all are also going to be learning that during this time you have some type of connection. Um, it's maybe for a few people. Some of y'all have a connection to unborn children. Like as the baby is in the mom's womb. Like y'all can connect with this woman's baby as if it's connected to your weirdest shit ever. Like the baby has a telepathic connection with you all. Some of y'all are very gifted spiritually and you're really coming to terms with that. I feel like for a long time you thought you really couldn't tell anybody that or you couldn't share it. Or for that matter, you really couldn't express um, your passions and your spiritual ability the way the people would understand. But during this time, it's really about you being really worried about the people understanding them or not. It's like, fuck y'all. I do this. It's my calling. God gave me this gift. So I'm going to move on. And I'm passionate about it. And if for some of you all... <clears throat> this is going to bring you a lot of abundance. Some of you all are really, really, really learning how to. Some of y'all going to be in a very grounded place during this time. I feel like when I say grounded, it's more so a focus on family, stability. Um, for some of you all, fairness in the situation, possibly after a new baby. For some of you all, there's a child that's a catalytic situation to an ending of a relationship. And I feel like this is going to bring in that grounding, that abundance, that stability, that firm foundation emotionally that you've been seeking. Because for some of y'all intuitively, you knew something was a bit off, but you couldn't quite put your hands on it. Okay. And so spirit is saying during the time, because when I asked spirit, what was the spirit message about? Ultimately, it was about making a judgment. What people, places, things can go into the new year with you. What serves me, what does not. What have I learned about having to let the situation go? What did I learn about myself? Did I learn about my own self-value? Did I learn about my own self-worth? What am I grateful for? Am I going to continue looking at the situation as what I lost and the time that I wasted? Because no time is wasted time. It just gave you enough time to come to terms with what it is that you will and will not accept in your life. It's just how you choose to look at it. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with my baby that kind of size in love between the 15th and the 31st of December. All right, so some of you all are going to be experiencing new love. Some of y'all could have a new water sign in your life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel that spirit is really needing you to, this is going to be a very purging sign for some of you all. Some of you all could have been hurt to the core by a fire sign in the past. And I feel like you've had sleep this day, sleep this night. And now that you're starting to release that and move away from it, some of you all are releasing the burdens of, and really the fears and the doubts about really letting someone into your world because some of you all are trying to manifest love, but you're manifesting love through a place of fear because when new love hits you, your beautiful blessing can be right in your damn face, but you're going to give it a hard time and run from it because it's not what you're used to. Some of you all are really shifting your perspective on what you know love to be, to move from a different vibration in order to be accepting of this ace of cups okay some of you all are very going to be in a very loving space during this time in a very passionate place a lot of things are going to be going your way and it's going to be you're going to actually see momentum and movement this Sagittarius new moon really really did a number for cancer it really pushed things forward whether you want them to go or not okay let me shuffle first thank you Steve. <clears throat> I shuffled already but I like shuffling on camera and y'all be talking the shit okay so oh my spirit do you have my cancers in love? My cancers expecting love between the 15th and the 31st of December. Some of you all are going to this period of some of you all are going in this period of solitude. And I don't feel like it's more so it could have to do with indecision. It could have to do with indecision regarding the Virgo or damn Leo, but I feel like this is more indecision, but it's good indecision. Which way do I want to go? Because I feel like some of you all have a numerous ways that you can go, and this could relate to um, relationships or, I mean, this could have to do with relationships or to finances, okay, or financial endeavors, but some of you all are just going to push pause on something, and I feel like even though you know it's what your soul is literally craving to do, to open the door to something else, to new opportunities, something that you really, really wanted to move forward with, I feel like in the past, but maybe now you have that confidence to push forward, now you have that little oomph that you need, that momentum to actually move towards your passions. But the, I feel like it's going to be a battle between the head and the heart with cancer. And some of you all, some of you all are indecisive during this time about moving away from a Virgo. Could also have to do with moving away from a Leo. 
to a Virgo are just really moving in this place of solitude to know what works best for me, okay? For some of you all, you're indecisive about <laughs> offering love to a damn Capricorn. I feel that for some of you all, maybe this person, maybe you're waiting on this person, this person maybe told you they were going to leave someone, but now you just really like, fuck it, I'm done waiting. I'm not going to sit here and put myself on the damn back burner due to, you know, plans and steady plans that we made. I'm not going to wait for you because life is not waiting for me to give me the opportunity to wait on your ass. My time is now. I got to go. All right. But some of you are, you pulled away from an air sign and you will be pulling away from a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like this person has some three party, some third party energy on them. And I feel like it's toxic to you. Even though you want to love this person, you can no longer, you come into terms during this time. You're learning some shit too about this person <laughs> that you just really feel like I don't want to love you in toxicity. I've already been through that in my life. So I'm not going to keep allowing you to push me on pause and, and put me on this hope and this and this wish and this prayer that you're going to do right. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you because I'm going to do right for my best. I'm, like, I'm going to do, do what's best for my damn self. Some of y'all are being defensive toward the fire sign. And this could be due to that child situation. Some of y'all can have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that you could be fighting with due to finding out about a child, okay, that this person could have been hiding. But some of you all, you could be being defensive or have a Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, or a damn um, Virgo being defensive towards you. Some of y'all are just moving away from fighting period you don't want to fight anymore now y'all gonna find and show people the power of silence how about if i say nothing your crazy ass can't argue with yourself and in doing so <clears throat> where someone could have possibly wanted to leave and move forward some of y'all have a uh, earth sign this could even be this little taurus or this virgo this could be a pisces this could be libra this could even be the mother or father of your child but i feel like as soon as you go as soon as you put your defenses up toward this person, this person finds some damn act right during this time. Some of y'all got a fire sign that want to reconcile, or maybe you want to reconcile with this fire sign. But as far as the finances, y'all are really needing to make decisions on what it is that you truly are passionate about. Because Spirit has said again, Cancer, the time is now with this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles. The time is now. It's not now we have to victoriously move, move forward. We can't no longer stand still with this hangman. And sit on it. Now it's time for decisions to be made. All right. And it's not holding on to any particular expectation. So you don't find yourself disappointed by an outcome because you were trying to control that. It's learning that we don't control our outcomes, but this is a journey. And when we attach ourselves to outcomes, we open the door for disappointment. You know, we open the door for that heaviness and beating ourselves up. And we should really just look at things from a different perspective to understand the lesson in these things. Okay. So, Spirit, let's get some clarifiers. Why is this Ace of Cups here? I feel some of y'all got it. Yeah. Some of y'all, there's a there's newness in the family situation. Okay. Or there's some type of security and love with the new love that could be possibly a water sign or someone that has a family structure. Whoa. Some of you all, too many cards. Some of you all have an Aries person. Or I feel like you're afraid to take that leap of faith and love and be vulnerable with someone because I feel that you're living in this space in the past of heartbreak, okay? I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid. So you're letting that go. You're letting the burden and seeing the burdens of love go so that you can move in this positive space. And when you do that and you stop beating yourself up, stop beating yourself up and stop being, you know, a bit defensive towards love, can new love come in and slap you in the face like spirit is trying to do? <laughs> All right, spirit, why is this? Yeah, some of y'all got a toxic Capricorn or a Virgo. I feel like there's love there, but there's also just conflict and there's not enough communication in that situation. Yeah, some of you all have possibly a Virgo that wants to offer you love, but I feel like you really want to move away from that person because their love is like half fastness and you're making a judgment call during this time. And you're coming out of this period of indecisiveness. You know that you want love. You know that you want fulfillment. And you know damn well you can't get it there. You're just being realistic. All right, so Spirit, why is this devil here for my cancer? Yeah, some of y'all have a toxic uh, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is in and out. I feel like when this person comes back to reunite, because I do see reconciliations, but I feel like when this person comes back to reunite, you're not even going to look at them the same. You're going to look at them with this, with this, this face. You think you're going to come back? After being out here hoeing, 
and I'm just supposed to come, welcome you with open arms? <laughs> no, the devil is a lie. I mean, I, I, I wish I would. So some of you all, <laughs> some of you all, you're really needing to learn to love yourself during this time and find that confidence in loving yourself and know that you're going to flourish with or without somebody. You don't need not these souls. You need your damn self and God. You understand? Some of y'all are trying to hold on to a family situation where there are some type of arguments and fights during this time due to somebody. Yeah, somebody got a somebody got a secret child coming out the hood with us. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like this could be the catalyst to someone actually moving away from a situation that they know they should have been out of a long time ago. Spirit been on your head. You're extremely intuitive. Why is this five of all this damn? See, Cancer, a lot of things I feel like, even with the falling in the flow, I feel like a lot of things in your life during this time is just going to be in disarray. And I feel like it's aligning as such to kind of back you up in that corner to force you to your new beginnings. Because I feel like out of turbulence with some of y'all can come something beautiful with healthy communication where both parties are not dealing with one another from the ego in a fearful place or from somebody trying to one-up another one just because they have kids tied to a situation. Spirit, why is this four of wands here? Yeah. For some of you all, there is victory in moving forward with the reconciliation with the fire sign after setting clear boundaries with this person and letting them know what you will and will not accept. And for some of you, it's, it's going in this damn cycle. I will not go forward with you in marriage until you work this out with the mother of your child or the father of your child. Who you could who they could possibly be married to. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo or someone who's married. And you wanting to end that cycle. I'm no longer doing this shit with you. I'm no longer doing this. I'm going to focus on myself and go from this damn nine of pentacles to this damn queen of pentacles. And I'm going to show you better not to you. <clears throat> Why is the six of wands here, spirit? Thank you. Yeah. There is victory in a family situation. Security, stability. If you just choose to not put all of your expectations and be praying for something, for a product and a person that's not ready yet. Don't be afraid to move forward. Reasons and seasons, people never forget. Because it's time to end that cycle. It's been time to end that cycle. Some of y'all are in this cycle with Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Or going into a new one. But for some of y'all, you're ending that cycle. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm trying to get to my newness. I'm over karmic cycles. I have some new shit to I have some new shit to get to. I have to flourish. I have to be bountiful. It's time for me to accept what it is the spirit is trying to bestow unto me. I'm tired of being stuck with your indecisive ass. Why is the hangman here? Some of y'all definitely dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius. Yeah. Some of y'all you got a definitely tall moment during this time. It's gonna be around the next full moon. I think the next full moon. Y'all tell me in the comments, because I believe it's on the 20-something of this month. Why well, is this Ace of Pentacles here? Newness, new beginnings. New, passionate, stable, secure, foundationalized as beginnings where we communicate. Healthy boundaries. We can move forward. If you came back out of this damn indecisive energy because you don't want to be left out in the cold and you got rejection issues. Look at it. You better call out Yama to fix your life and call on God because cancer ain't got time for that. Yeah. Some of y'all are over an indecisive ass Aries or a Virgo or an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. This could also be the father of your children. I feel like for some of you all, yeah, during this time, the outcome, cancer is walking away. I'm walking away, possibly from a Leo or water sign, but I'm walking away. To a soulmate relationship for some. And for some, it's reconciling with someone. Possibly after leaving somebody else out in the cold. Or being left out in the cold. But understand that man's rejection is God's protection. Never forget that. I see nothing but beautiful, beautiful beginnings, growth, lessons. Understandings toward understandings of compassion and compromise, truth and clarity. I see straight up uh debos, spirit debos. I call it debo, spirit, spirit debos, backing y'all asses up into corners to make you make that positive transition to better assist you and actually fulfill that soul contract that you came here and signed up to do, the shit that you came here to sign up to do.
It's about making your life purpose make sense. And for some of y'all, literally, literally, making it make sense. Because it comes from your authentic truth. It comes from all of your feminine energy that you push forward. Your creativity. Your passion. Your vision. Your desires. And nobody, nobody deserves to take that away from you. Not in this life. Not in the next. And you're getting your damn just due for the efforts that you put in in your last. It's karmic payback time, baby. Let's purge and stay optimistic toward this soulmate. Because new love is here. New shamani is here. New passion and great sex is here. What is you waiting on? Let's go into 2019 bountiful, receiving, abundant, prosperous, and claiming it before we see it. Hello? So this is what I have for my cancers. If you need that personal reading, please hit me up, boo. That information will be found below. Love y'all. Bye, y'all.